Hi everyone, welcome back for another video on Hustle Castle. Uh, this video wasn't really planned and uh, it was just like an impromptu kind of like thought uh, since I haven't done my djembe runs today so I thought why not do a video on it. Um, djembe hasn't been really fantastic for me until yesterday. Well, I did something yesterday and somehow things just changed and everything just uh, became much more enjoyable since. So yeah, hi my name is Abel, stick around and I'm going to show you how. So welcome back. I'm gonna give you a little background on uh, actually what happened. So uh, I was at TR7 and I was planning to go on to TR8 and uh, people around me you know I've been asking questions and then they have been telling me that you know before you jump straight to TR8 you should get your squad ready you know you should have a 12 men uh, squad and then you should gear them up and then what you need to do and how your squad is gonna be you know as you move into TR8 because TR8 you'll be unlocking the gem bay that's where you farm gems you know your your powders and your dust uh, whatnot and to craft your gems so yeah they told me I need a very strong tank I need two healers a rest and then a couple of archers that kind of thing and then you need substitutes just in case you know your your main squad members they die and then you can just swap one in because uh, Gem Bay is all about you know your endurance, how long you can last, how many waves you can last. Back then it was 20 waves, but ever since with that update, they have chopped off like 20 25% of it. Now it's only 15 waves. It's supposed to be easier, but uh I didn't stay long at TR8 and I moved to TR9 like a few months back. And the thing about TR9 is that uh, you get a new feature you get a hero and then you get to play with the hero and you try different builds and then eventually what happened to me was I messed up my historical power so if you were to check on my stats uh, I'm at TR9 but my historical power is at 3.8 million so um, when I first got into TR9, my historical value was only at 3.1. And I tell you back then, Gem Bay was very, very easy for me. I could clear it like almost every day, you know. I, I, I do three times, uh, three runs a day and then I could clear most of it. But ever since I, you know, I've been testing new gears, new builds, this and that, you know, to be able to perform well in arena. Yeah, I love arena a lot. So I've been concentrating a lot on that. But at the same time, I've, I've been unintentionally pushing up my historical power to this value that you're seeing today. So it has gotten very hard for me and it wasn't such a pleasant experience anymore so he has gotten to a point whereby uh, I didn't look forward to complete my gem bay runs and for me it's like I'm doing gem bay just for the sake of fulfilling or completing my dailies that's it so I, I'll just do one and then if I die but if my dailies are checked that's it I wouldn't even bother going for the second time even though it's free so it was that bad now things change yesterday things changed yesterday because I did something different but what did I do so what I did yesterday was I thought why not I just send my current team in and just uh, have a few 
backups, you know, which are actually not properly geared. You need, you, you see, uh, this mesh of mine, they are not properly jammed, that kind of thing. And then, uh, you have this girl that doesn't have runes on her, and then there's no rune on the artifact as well. So I sent, I sent this team of twelve in, but what happened was. I cleared the first time and I didn't even need to hire mercenaries I, I thought wow okay now uh, I know that Gen Bay is all about builds and I've been told you know even when I you know got into TR8 that is when you unlock Gen Bay uh, people around me and when I asked them about Gen Bay what should I do what should I expect they told me this is that you need to get up 12 solid squad members uh, you need to have a very strong tank you need to have healers you need to have rest mages and then you need to have practically everything so that should your, should your main one dies you have someone to substitute in in order to finish you know the 20 waves back then Gem Bay was still on 20 waves uh, not until the update that they uh, you know that that they uh, release uh, so now Jembe waves has dropped to you know 15 and it's no longer 20 and it's supposed to be much easier but easier but I couldn't complete them until yesterday so uh, so why not we just uh, head on to Jembe and I just show you what I did and uh, perhaps uh, I can actually uh, pass on some, you know, some some strategies or tactics for you to pick up here and there, so that you yourself, if you have been struggling like me, uh, after watching this video, I hope it will help you in one way or another. So let's go to Gem Bay. You see, it's free. I haven't started any yet. So start journey free. Deploy the best ones. Current team no changes okay confirm add and then fill 12 spells confirm now as i say in the first video that i made uh don't start first because uh i, I would like to prepare more spells with me so that i will not need to wait for them to be crafted in order to do my second or third you know jambe run so craft you see six about 18 now craft okay craft now you see 45 minutes okay well this 45 minutes gets lesser uh, with more dwellers in your magic workshop but i only have two so uh, to craft each of these spell it will take me 33 minutes that kind of thing so yeah so i max out okay and yeah good, good to go okay now go back into gen bay okay my team is pretty much ready i need to swap one person out uh i need to put in a rest mage so maybe i'll take out this uh archer of mine and I put in my rest mage now if you see my rest mesh, he's, he's not even properly geared, there's no runes, it's incomplete, that kind of thing. So okay, 3.5 mil, okay, and let's go. Now with this squad, normally it's very easy for the first you know few waves but as you reach wave uh, you know eight nine ten it gets a lot a lot harder so yeah still on wave two okay maybe let's just speed this up okay there go one down okay so let's bring this guy up okay I have a backup okay two by two crap it's not working this time so maybe I'll bring a healer
well, it didn't have really exactly work this time like how I wanted it to. Uh, so yeah, let's see how far this will bring me. Okay, I've been losing members, uh, squad members. So yeah, well. Okay, wave 8. Okay, normally this is when it gets a little bit harder. Okay. Now, mind you, uh, I have no tank right now. So. I have three mages in front and that's just about it. Wave 11. Okay, I'll start using spells here. Okay. I really really want this to work. Okay, so far so good. Replenish a spell. Let's go. Lost another guy. Put in the archer. Let's go. Head. Last wave, but unfortunately, hmm. I've lost my key squad members already. So yeah, this is not exactly how I wanted it to be. But uh, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Oh! See? Look at that! Suicide squad. Uh, suicide squad, yeah. And I've completed it. Unexpected, right? So, this was... What happened yesterday. Uh, well, in one of those scenarios, uh, it wasn't as bad but uh, yeah completed it uh, oh yeah okay let's go edit again shall we okay uh craft it was supposed to craft nope 25 now you see uh i can prepare more spells than it's allowed so 25 18. You can go up to a max of uh, 30 if you are on Magic Workshop level 5 and at TR 9. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, not arena. Sorry, my bad. Start free journey, deploy best ones, confirm, add, fill, confirm. Okay, same thing again. Don't start your run yet. Uh, craft more spells. Get them ready. Okay. Craft thirteen, right? Craft. Okay. Now it does feel good, you know, being able to complete a gem bay run, so that you know that you are. It, it helps with your event for one, and you know the amount of. Kraken tokens that you are getting, it is you know the highest possible. So uh, yeah, uh, so same thing. We move this guy, put a rest mage. Mm. Maybe I swap this up. Let's redo this, okay? In the proper manner, okay? I'll add in my archer first. Where's my archer? Yes, my archer. Then I add in the mage that needs to die, add in the other mage, add in the rest mage, add in the other archer. So this should be my lineup. Okay. So this uh, uh suicide mage. Okay. And let's go. So 
So if you notice I'm playing I've I'm, I'm, I'm playing Hustle Castle on an emulator. Okay, specifically Nox player. So if you notice I've actually hotkeyed uh, the ank ability using the alphabet Q. So uh, I'm actually spamming on the ank ability when the mesh starts. Okay. Now this is what I want. Uh, this is what I wanted. You know, when the suicide mage dies, the ank will resurrect uh, her almost immediately. If the ank doesn't trigger, I'm hoping that you know the rest mage would have caught it, and I would not lose a unit due to that. Okay, so let's go. There you go. See works I hope it works this time yeah I'm spamming I'm spamming I'm still spamming okay. but Abel your mage is going to die let her be she'll get rest anyway so yeah that's the whole idea you see uh let them die and you kind of rely on the ank and the rest mage to bring them up again. Now uh, I'm using the new mage armor, the new event mage armor. So uh, and you see she's on quite a low HP. So should she dr uh, die? Should she dies? Uh, and if my poison mage is also down, the poison mage should be resurrected as well or it should rest the rest mage and then the rest mage should get hold of the poison mage so yeah drops up again okay wave 9 still doing good no spells yet drops up again with 10 okay. drops up again up again see theoretically it works it should work theoretically but uh, now you are actually seeing it that it does work okay But the thing about this build is this, uh, this strategy, strategy is this, if your poison mage doesn't get up again, you are kind of screwed. So I have actually two poison ma mages, so uh, one in the main team, the other one as a backup. Okay. No spells yet. Now look at that, last one. Let's keep it to zero spells, okay? Bam! Come on, you can do it. Ta-da! Look at that. No spells. Poison squad. I know, for, for those of you who do not like, you know, poison squads. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this may not be for you. But then... If you have been finding it hard to you know complete your Jembe runs, why not try one? Uh, all you need is just a hero with Ank, a Rest Mage, and a Poison Mage. Okay, the Poison Mage I'm using is on Death uh, trigger for this artifact. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video, and I hope that it helps you to build your you know. Gem base squad. Now the thing about me is this: I, 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 I really, really hope, and I try my best to find one build that fits all. You know, one build that fits arena, one build that fits gem bay, and hopefully this same one build fits dungeon as well. But unfortunately, this build doesn't fit. Uh, doesn't fit in dungeon that well because uh, it, it dies too often. 
and then dungeons dun, dungeon you have modifiers that you know uh, that, that penalizes resurrection and then you know mages and whatnot but if you are just doing you know solely arena and jambe this build might be for you so uh what are the things that you need again a hero with ank okay hero with ank you need a poison mage you need a rest mage okay a mage that resurrects and then you need this is actually optional this is like a backup plan okay you need a mage with the great underwater event mage armor so yeah few components to you know to clear gem bay hopefully so yeah i hope you'll be able to do 15.15 zero spells and yeah even should you use spells at least you don't need to hire mercenaries right and you can still do three runs a day hopefully or even four so yeah i guess that's it for this video thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video See ya.